Good morning, friends. Let's implement the follow-up where we will uh, use the tail method for a running log file, which is appended in real time. So this is the actual use case of tail command. I mean, we normally don't use tail command for a static file, but we use the tail command to monitor the real time log file, which is appended in the real time. So let's uh, first of all, before we implement this tail uh, online method, uh, let's create a, a class uh, and, uh, uh, which will mimic uh, a real application log. So I created this class uh, periodic file writer. What it will do is that it will keep on uh, writing a, a file uh, in real time, which means that it will keep on writing something and uh, whatever the file it will write, we will use the tail command to monitor it uh, in the real time. So I have created this uh, periodic file writer. So let's uh, implement this. So I'll create it as a thread. So implements runnable. Okay, and let's alt enter implement methods run. And inside this run method, we will write this thread where it will keep on writing to a, to a file. But uh, let me create a private final path. This is a file path that we'll write in the run method. I will call it as say file path. Okay, so, and let's create a constructor for this, add constructor. Okay. So this dot file path is this. And let's, uh, once we have this file path, right? Uh, let, let's try the header line. So once we create this object for periodic file writer and provide this file path. So we'll start writing at the very first line that this is the header, this is the header line. So we can do it by using this try block in the try block i will use files dot write and it takes this file path and and i will write something as string dot format and use this maybe say this is the header line percent n because i'm using format and here i will use get bytes I will write it into a standard bytecode. And as you can see that we can see uh, a, an IO exception. So we just ch uh, check the exception. So I will alt enter. I will add a cache clause and just use this in the text tree. So for example, if we are sending anything with the, with the file doesn't exist or anything else, if there's any problem in writing this file, then it will throw this IO exception. We don't do, do anything with just print the stack trace and that's it. So so again, just to reiterate that whenever we will uh, uh, create this uh, object uh, using this constructor, it will uh, write this first line as the header. This is the header line. And let's uh, implement our run method that what it will do when we will start this thread. So again, I will create another, uh, say, a string to write, say, str maybe str to write. And again, I will use string.format. I use string.format more than uh, say normal string because uh, it's good for string interpolation. It will not do a lot of con concatenation. So it's better than performance wise is better. So this is the, I will say percent D. I will just create a counter here and write this. And let me create something, um, create a counter. And let's create this fi uh, private final. I will create an atomic integer. I think we can use also a normal integer, but let's keep it atomic. New atomic integer, so it will start with zero. And uh, here in this, this is the percentage line I will use counter dot add and get and use one year so what it will do is that because it starts with zero um, by the default constructor and uh, when we do add and get so it will start with one so it will keep for, for the first time this will be having this is the first line one line and it's the second line after that so it keeps on uh, incrementing it by this add and get method 
So this is the string to write. So normally, I mean, I, we prefer to write when we use this files dot write method. It's preferred uh, to use get bytes method here. This get bytes dot utf gate. So I will do the same thing here. So for this str to write, I will use uh, uh, I will convert it into bytes first. So for that, we have got this method str to write dot get bytes and control alt v i will store it into bytes to write and i will use final here prefer to use final use immutability as much as possible so because it's set safe and it got lots of benefit as well i will bytes to write naming convention okay now let's do the same thing. We will write it into an append mode. So we can use again use this try try block with files dot write, but uh, we will just use an overloaded method where we will use a standard open option to append. So this is how we do it. So I give a try block, sorry try, and then I will use files dot write again. Files dot write. This files is a very good method, the uh, utility method in present in Java and IO. We can directly use this to write any any string as a, in a byte format as we're doing it here. So bytes to write, bytes to write, and I will use standard option, uh, standard open option. So standard open option again present in Java IO, and I will use the append mode. We are using append mode because. We have already written, once you get this uh, first time, it will uh, create this uh, header line. And as we keep on running this thread, it will keep on uh, writing this this string, like one, two, three, and all, in an append mode. And again, we have to catch it. Uh, maybe just let IntelliJ create it for me. Alt enter, at catch loss. And again, I will use final here. So that's it. I think uh, this method is clear. Let me revise again. So this periodic file letter implements enable, which is means that we can pass it to a thread. And uh, once we create this object, first of all, it will uh, write the header line. And after that, once we keep on running this thread, it will keep on writing. Uh, this uh, this is the first one line, two line, thin line and all, as, as, as long as we are running this thread. Okay, so let's uh, write some